So today is the first day shops are reopening in London after the lockdown due to coronavirus and it looks like the light is going to be interesting as well so I thought okay maybe it's a good day to go out and shoot some street photography. Let's see how this goes. I'm heading towards Chinatown for a challenge right now I'm in Covent Garden and there's not many people around actually but shops are open it's great so when I was out testing the Fujifilm X100V one thing I really appreciated was the constraints like as a professional photographer being able to actually have only one small body and one lens felt almost like liberating. I didn't have all the gear in my bag because, well, you know, if something happens, it's useful if I have this lens or if I have another body or if I have this other lens and all these accessories. I had just one small camera and the lens attached to it because it's a fixed lens camera. And so today I'm doing the same thing just with my Fujifilm X-T4, so I'm going to Chinatown because I hope that some people will be there and I'm gonna challenge myself to shoot with one body, the Fujifilm X-T4 and then one lens, which is gonna be the 23mm f2 this is gonna be fun, I know and I'm gonna set a time challenge as well because I don't want to think about the gear at all I just want to go out, take as many good pictures as possible Hopefully. heading towards Chinatown which is right in front of me there I'll try to take as many good pictures as I can and in a limited amount of time so I'm gonna set myself for a 15 minutes challenge I'm giving myself this time constraints 15 minutes because it's something I'm really not used to and I want like I said this is a challenge so I want to challenge myself doing something different and sometimes I spend lots of time in the same location waiting for the picture, fishing the picture if you like like in this example in St Paul's Cathedral, well next to St Paul's Cathedral where I waited one hour for something to happen and right now I'm into Chinatown so I need to get set, change lens, swapping from the 10 to 24 to the 23 millimeters and start a challenge Okay, so right now I am at the epicenter of Chinatown, ready to take the challenge. I swapped lens, so I got the 23mm f2. You can tell there's not many people in the street, so it's going to be a challenge in the challenge. And now let's take the phone and put the 15 minutes. Right, 16, 15. There it is, 15 minutes. Let's start.
not making my life too easy either because it's not the right time of the day. There's not enough light in the street. There's only one strip of light on one of the sidewalks. But it's gonna rain later. So there's supposed to be showers. So this was really the best time of the day today to come here and try to challenge myself. Still got 12 minutes. I shot one picture because there's not many people out. But yeah, keep trying, time flies. Hey, you're, you're right. I'm just looking at the light. <laughs> Oh my goodness, time is disappearing. There's almost only two minutes left. And I think I shot like six or seven pictures. Gosh, I need to rush, I need to rush.
that's it. Time's up for the challenge. Gosh, that went quick. 15 minutes, absolutely nothing. They just, they just disappeared. That's it, this is it. Oh gosh, I'm exhausted. This is it. 15 minutes are gone. Challenge finished. I need to check the pictures. Hi, right, so it's it's finished. Found this nice place where I can film. Hopefully security is not gonna come to turn me off. And how did it go? Well, it's been a challenge for sure. It's been even more challenging because there's less people in the street and it's a Monday, so people are working as well. So there's definitely less people. So yeah, it's been quite challenging, but it's been quite fun as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And it's good to do things differently every now and then because it changes your mind and your mindset because you train yourself to see the world differently. And with these time constraints, you don't you don't really think about your gear, which is great. So you only think about taking pictures. You have these 15 minutes or, or less or more, depending on the challenge you want to set for yourself. And all you, that, all you have to think of is taking pictures. You don't think about the gear. You don't have time to think about fiddling with the menu, fiddling with the settings and changing lenses or anything. It's there. Tac, tac, tac. That's it. And it's a great idea as well after this lockdown, if you have lost appetite or you lost inspiration, just set a challenge for yourself, go out, take pictures. If you set a challenge, it means you have purpose, which is the thing I was lacking after over two months without taking any picture whatsoever in the streets. So this really helped me and I'm sure it will help you as well. Do it, it's really, really fun. You guys will enjoy it. The great thing about setting these constraints for yourself is that after a while shooting with the same camera and the same lens, it almost becomes second nature to you. So you visualize your scene even before you press the shutter or look in the viewfinder or look in the screen. You already know in your mind how the scene is going to look like the, way, the moment you see it. So it's a very good exercise for your photography as well. And so I think now I'm gonna leave here and I'll go back to the studio, see the pictures, see what I got, put the footage together and talk a little bit more about the whole experience. So I'll see you back in the studio. Cheers. And yeah, okay, so welcome back to the studio. Now, as you just saw in the video, the whole challenge was a bit tough because there were not many people around, but I was glad to see that some shops were opening and again uh, but really the only queue was outside of the Apple store but anyway the challenge was real fun to do anyway and I will probably do it again regularly because I absolutely love to experiment and it's been really really real fun uh, the POV footage that was all shot with the uh, GoPro 7 and I tried to put it on top of the camera first but then I thought it would be better to see the actual camera so I purchased this cheap clip here and attached it to the chest with the bag straps and it still needs practice to get the right angle but I'll get there eventually and if you have any advice please let me know in the comments if you've done POVs before and you have advices for me please please let me know in the comments and well the photos I shot are not necessarily absolute Bangers. They may be even average, but it's not really the point of the challenge. I mean, this is all an exercise. If you can go home with great photos, then fantastic. But this challenge is mostly an exercise to learn how to work with constraints, work under pressure, test something new, think out of the box, and uh, and learn your gear so that you don't have you don't have to think about your gear anymore. And but gear with the Fujifilm XT4. I can use film simulations to achieve the tones I want and all the photos you saw uh, use the new classic neg film. Uh, I normally use and love classic ROM but the new simulation is really nice to work with and gives me 
even more black shadows and contrast, which is the thing I really like in my street photography. And here I can show you the difference between the two film simulations with no other effects applied to the image out of the camera. And I say this every time, but I really love the colors of Fujifilm cameras. And to me, this gives uh, Fujifilm the edge over other camera brands, for now at least. Now, on the other hand, I'm still not 100% convinced about the stabilization on the X-T4. Now, I'm not experienced with stabilized camera, but the results so far are lower than my expectations. And I have updated the firmware of the camera, I have updated the lens as well, uh, with the latest one. But to me, the overall look is not right. There's been some weird warping effect as well, like the warp stabilizer in Premiere, and I'm not sure whether this would be expected. Uh, but if any of you has more experience than me with stabilization and you expect this, you know how it works and you have advices for me, again, please let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful. But that's it. That's it. Um, I hope, you, I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed the whole POV, the first POV, and leave your feedback please on the first POV in the streets of London, so I can learn what you guys want and help you better in the next ones. And to know when I publish the new videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and there will be also tutorials on Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One, Lumina, etc. So if you don't want to miss those, again, subscribe, hit the notification button. And the challenge, the challenge is not over. I'll be back again in the streets of London and abroad when allowed again. And if you want to join me, send me a DM on Instagram and let's go. No problem, just meet. If you want to take on this challenge yourself, anywhere you live, tag your photo with the hashtag you see on screen now and I'll come to view and comment. And this is it, really. I'll see you all next time. Cheers. <laughs>